Hey you guys, today we're going to be looking at Larxene from Chain of Memories. I'll be looking for hot takes on Vexen next, so drop those down in the comments or look out for my tweet in the coming week, and I may pick your comment. This series will be looking at both the original GBA version of Chain of Memories, as well as the remixed version released on the PS2. Does anyone else remember this getting bundled with Kingdom Hearts 2 when that released? Is that some kind of promotional thing? Because I definitely remember that, I think. <laughs> I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, actually, maybe I didn't. Uh, anyways, that's not important. Let's look at the first encounter with Larxene. I really like how Recom redoes the GBA cutscene. Even though the GBA cutscenes get compressed to all hell, I really liked seeing these pop up in the game. One other thing I want to point out in this opening cutscene is the effect when Larxene summons her knives. I know the specific name is like Fod Fodre, <laughs> something like that, which I know I didn't pronounce right. Uh, it's French for lightning, which is a really cool detail. I'm going to be using the word knives throughout this breakdown because I cannot say that every time. <laughs> So anyways, back to the uh, cutscene. One beam of light appears before a flash of light reveals the knives. I will always bring this up, but the color scheme being similar to Missing Ake, as well as Larxene's past as a Keyblade wielder, makes me convinced this is a Keyblade form change. This is an Ethereum video though, I already made that. Click the I card in the corner if you want to see that. Let's look at Larxene's attacks starting with her striking cards. There are two red attack cards and one blue attack card that Larxene will use in the GBA version, while Recom only has two red attack cards with one card changing the card's attack when Larxene's health gets low. Let's look at the GBA version first. The first red card has a green background and has Larxene throwing her knives forward in a line towards you. These fly forward in a blur of yellow light, but if Sora gets caught in the attack, the knives will actually stop and stick into him. In Recom, Larxene will do the same attack, but I have to point out her attack card genuinely looks like she would have applied to a mean comment with no you, unironically. Anyways, the trails behind these knives look really clean, and there's a shard effect from her hands during the throws. It's actually the same shard effect as the Valorform shards. Thought that was like a cool detail to point out. I know it's just like an effect that they're using, um, and it's not like directly tied to Valorform. I just think it's cool to see similar assets in different places. If Sora is hit, a lightning effect arcs out from the strike point. This happens with all attacks that he gets hit by. The next card attack has a bluish purple background, and it's a close range attack. Larxene starts with a rising slash attack before swiping at the falling Sora. Dodging the first attack will stop the combo. In Recom, the attacks are actually switched with the swipe attack happening first before falling with the rising slash. I really like the trails on the knives during these strikes. It's a small detail, but really gets across the feeling of speed that Larxene has. If you dodge the first strike, Larxene will actually rush forward to continue her combo. The last card in GBA is a blue card and appears when Larxene's health is low. This doubles her two hit strike before she calls down lightning. Just like the other combo in the GBA version, dodging will cancel out the attack. Lexine has a similar attack in Recom, though there is not a unique blue card for it. This takes over the original red combo card after Lexine reaches a certain amount of HP. Her first two attacks are the same 1-2 combo from her original card, but she then does a spin to start up her second 1-2 hit, and her second hit is a rising strike that pushes her into a flip backwards. As she lands, she casts Thunder down on Sora, raining down 5 lightning bolts. Dodging this attack does not cancel out her combo, as Lexine will continue her combo even if she misses. Larxene has a simple thunder attack that she uses in both versions. In the GBA version, this hits a large area of the arena. In Recom, this calls down 7 bolts of lightning down to random spots around Sora. In this first phase, Larxene will use 1 slate in the GBA version and 2 in Recom. In the GBA version, Larxene will use lightning bolt made up of 2 blue cards and 1 red. This shows Larxene calling forth lightning to pull Sora close. This will stun him and has incredible range. You can dodge it, but it takes some pretty particular timing. There's a similar slate in Recom, though it's called Megavolt, and has the same makeup of cards, though in a different order. Larxene flips to the center before glowing yellow and jumping into the air. She throws her knives down into the ground, creating a line of lightning that moves out in front of her in a cone. The other slate is called Teleport Rush, and is made up of all red cards. Two throwing cards and one combo card. This slate has Larxene literally teleporting around you and rushing forward to do a 1-2 combo. Dodging the first hit will have her teleport out of the combo and restart another one. This also appears in the second phase of the GBA version. This one functions a little differently. Larxene will hit you once before teleporting and following up with a rising slash. She will then teleport three times, throwing out a set of knives each time. Speaking of the second phase, there really isn't that much that changes. The only thing I found was the slate Bladestorm, which is made up of three blue cards. Larxene glows with a yellow aura before twisting up into the air. You can actually see her knives appearing on the outside of the arena while she powers up. She thrusts her arm forward, causing lightning pillars to sweep across the room. If you touch one, the pillars will all latch onto you, raising you into the air and dealing damage. After a while, you'll drop down to the ground stunned at the end of the attack. You still have access to your cards here, so look for a zero or a strong slate to break out. You can also dodge this attack, but since it goes on for almost 30 seconds and the hitboxes are very janky, it'd be best to just break the slate as soon as you can. Larxene has access to two support cards, a Thunder Boost card and her own support card, which grants dash. 
Dash increases your running speed and also makes you immune to lightning attacks. Before I end the video, I wanted to note a couple of things outside of the animations. Here's the obligatory thanks Donald for casting thunder on the enemy who was healed by thunder. Defeating Larkseen the first time will grant you a thunder card, and in a recom you receive Larkseen's card after defeating her the second time. One of Riku's forms in Dream Drop Distance is actually a lightning form, um, and I just think the similarities are really similar, so I wanted to kind of have some footage here of Riku, and he has like that yellow aura around him. I don't know, I just think it's really interesting. Also, Bladestorm is a shot lock from Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't know if they just forgot that, but yet again, another tie to Keyblades with Larkseen, just very odd. There are also a number of quotes said during slates and reloading cards that I'll play here. Lightning. And I think that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed the first episode in this series on Axel, put the card on screen to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, I've done a ton of breakdowns on the Kingdom Hearts series, so be sure to check them out by clicking the other cards on screen. Subscribe or share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, a huge thank you to my uh, patrons. I'll have them on screen right now. Thank you guys so much for your support.